welcome. My name is Lara, and we're here from our guys in DIFC. Joining you today is a very special guest, and of course, we're talking about none other than <coughs> Sivan Gaya, the director of Dubai Opera. <coughs> Thank you very much for being here, it's appreciate. It's a pleasure to have you with us on today's show, so fun. Pleasure having you as well. Now, um, I shouldn't say this, but I am going to say this. Opera Gallery for me is, is one of it's one of my favorite gal galleries, not only in the region, but across the globe. Appreciate that. Tell us a little bit more about this beautiful, stunning art piece that we have here at Opera Gallery. So right now, we're in the middle of a Korean group show, which started about a week ago. We had the uh, opening last Wednesday. Um, it's a very intricate show where we are showing around 15 different Korean artists and the common thread of the exhibition is the exploration of texture and the relationship that the artists we've picked from uh, Korea have with nature. And who is this famous, wonderful Korean artist? So there's 15 of them. Uh, all the pieces that you're going to see here, they're first market pieces. So these were acquired straight from the artist studio. We've been working with them for a very long time. We do have a gallery in Seoul, in Korea, so it's easy, it has become easier for us over the years to discover up and coming Korean artists and you know, acquire pieces straight from their studio, and that's what we're showing uh, in March. Okay, now putting this wonderful Korean exhibition around us on the side, tell us a little bit more about the artists that have participated in major exhibitions over here in, in Opera Gallery in the IMC. So I think the highlight was last year because last year we celebrated our 10th, uh, 10th anniversary in the DIFC. Congratulations and, on uh, that. Yeah, it was a very big milestone for us and we brought Manolo Valdez who's probably the most important living uh, contemporary Spanish uh, artist alive. So we had a show in the gallery, which was the first solo show the artist has ever held in the region. And in conjunction with this, we had five monumental sculptures um, put in the DIFC around the gate village. Each sculpture is about six or seven tons. It was, you know, four months of preparation. Um, and I think, as far as I'm concerned, that's the best thing we could have ever given collectors and, and people in the region. Manolo Valdez is just larger than life, and that was just a great exhibition. I could not agree more with you. Now, Sylvan, um, Opera Gallery is known to um, have its art placed in most of the five-star uh, five star or above hotels here in the region. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, that's correct. It's something we started doing with you know lots of the galleries we have, so whether it's the Paris Gallery, the Geneva Gallery, the Hong Kong Gallery, uh, or even us here and, and Singapore, we've always worked with hotels. So in, uh, in Dubai, we have a very good relationship with the Ritz Carlton DIFC. We started working with them about eight years ago. Uh, so every sculpture that you see at the Ritz Carlton has been curated by us. Uh, within the Ritz, you have this restaurant called the Cirque. I love it, it's um, my favorite. Exactly, which used to be a New York uh, staple. And when the Cirque decided to open, the Ritz reached out to us and we did the curation for that as well. Uh, and most recently, we started working with the Four Seasons DIFC as well. Yes. We have a very good relationship with the, uh, with the GM, Lorenzo, mm -hmm. and uh, we're doing a couple of activations. So we started the first one about a month ago, whereby at the entrance in the lobby, the guests are greeted by these you know, very nice luxury bags made out of steel. So you have Hermes bags, Chanel bags, and Louis Vuitton bags from Jonathan Seliger, who's a very acclaimed American artist. Um, and we're doing something later in the month of April. We're going to do another uh, activation with pieces from André Brasilier depicting horses because it's World Cup season. So we thought it would be very nice for the guests to walk into the property and be exposed to, uh, to horses painting. Not only that, horses are very popular amongst the residents as well as the nationals of Dubai. So That's it's right. Yes, yeah, absolutely. It, it is a good collaboration. That's it great. Is. It is a, it's a great collaboration. Yeah. Last but not least, what message do you have for all the art collectors that are watching us out there at the moment? What advice, what tips do you have for them? Tips? You know, just buy what you like. That's what I always say. The emotional return you get from owning a piece far outweighs you know, the, the financial return that, that you might get. Don't be afraid of stepping into an art gallery. You know, it's not an experience that you should be worried about. It should be an enjoyable experience. So when people come to the gallery, we always stand up, we always greet people, and uh, we expect them to have a good time and discover things that you know gives emotion. Because that's what what art is all about. I'm trying to demystify 
uh, what a gallery experience should be. It, it shouldn't be something that you're afraid of. Art, at the very core of it, is something very simple. You know, we're purveyors of uh, emotion. That's what we do. Absolutely, I couldn't agree more with you. Sylvan, I want to thank you for spending okay. some time with us on today's show. It's been a true pleasure talking to you Likewise. and wishing you continued work and success. Thank you very much, Lara. I appreciate it. Thank you. Unfortunately, that's all we have time for. My name is Lara, signing off. Until next time. Bye.